Don't you just love when you find a real go-to restaurant that the locals just rave about? Welcome to El Taco Real, located in Hammond since 1974. Ramundo Garcia is now in charge of the day-to-day -day operations and he guided me through a tasting of some of their dishes. Ramundo started me off with one of their special recipe, pina coladas. We try to do everything differently here at Taco Real. So this is our pina colada. It's a little different from normal pina coladas. Can you taste the difference? It's more tropical. It's more tropical, exactly. It's Kahlua. Just a little bit of Kahlua adds a, a tropical flavor to it. It brings out almost chocolatey, brings out the coconut, brings out the pineapple. So the day we came up with our own margarita mix, we put together every conceivable ingredient for margarita on the bar, everything. And we had a special meeting with my staff uh, after hours, of course, and we made batch after batch after batch of margaritas until we came up with the perfect margarita. But by that time, we were so hammered, we forgot how we made it. We had to do it all over again. <laughs> we're lucky enough to have in Northwest Indiana, uh, 18th Street Brewery here in Hammond and Devil's Trumpet in Maryville. And so we bring in the small microbreweries, the Saisons, and we feature them here uh, at Taco Real. For appetizer, Raimundo suggested the queso fendido, sauteed onions, tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, and spices topped with a layer of broiled Mexican cheese. Oh, that has a lot of flavor. Very popular. Mm -hmm. I then tried the Nachitos Especiales, featuring corn taco chips topped with refried beans, Mexican cheese, jalapeno peppers, carrots, sour cream, and guacamole. Well, you didn't get enough on your face. People ask me how to describe my kitchen, how to describe the restaurant, and I like to say that we have an honest kitchen or a scratch kitchen. We don't take anything out of a jar or can that we can't make ourselves, and that's really important to us. When somebody at home makes a small amount of taco meat, for example, for their family, it's made in a certain specific way. But when you make as much as we do, we talk about hundreds of pounds, you have to come up with different ways of making it in order for it to be the same as it was for three pounds at home. I use a candy stove, and a candy stove is not typically used in a restaurant. The secret about a candy stove is it's very high BTUs, 60,000 BTUs in a, small, in a small space. For entrees, I sampled the enchiladas corn tortillas, which are sauteed with fresh made chili ancho and filled with your choice of cheese, chicken, pork, or beef, all topped with their special sauce. Soft pork, mm -hmm. no fat, no gristle. A lot of meat in there. Ramundo suggested that I also taste El Taco Real's pollo con mole, boneless chicken breast, sauteed in traditional Oaxaca mole, made with chocolate, roasted peanuts, chili pasilla, and ancho. So you taste a little savory, a little sweet, complex flavors. Mm -hmm. I do. So chocolate isn't just for dessert anymore, is it? That's right, <laughs> it's not. Next up was the chili relleno. Uh, this is my grandmother's recipe, actually, and we, we were struggling with having the peppers to be too spicy. So we added a little bit of roasted and cooked raisin into the meat, so there's a sweetness that just cuts the heat from the pepper. Doesn't make it sweet, sugar sweet, but it takes away a little bit of the heat from the pepper. And it has a lot going on. It's a lot of stuff. By this time, dessert should have been superfluous, although they have an extensive dessert menu. But Ramundo insisted that I try the house specialty, fruit finale, a bed of vibrant strawberry sauce topped with a puff pastry shell, layered with a cream cheese base, and filled with seasonal fresh fruit. We've had a festive time in Northwest Indiana. Experiencing the renaissance of the city of Whiting, a small lakefront community only minutes from downtown Chicago. The unexpected and tasty pierogi fest celebrating Whiting's heritage in a fun-filled way. Whiting's floating water park. What a unique way to experience Lake Michigan. The Hammond Marina, Wolf Lake Memorial Park, and the Lake Michigan Beachfront offering different ways to enjoy the waters of Northwest Indiana. Hammond's Festival of the Lakes, offering food, fun, and music in a carnival atmosphere. Thank you, Ramundo, for sharing your hospitalities and your family's achievements with me. It's my pleasure. Remember to visit our website at savorindiana.com for links to information about all the places we visit in our shows. For Savor Indiana, I'm Laura Sheets.